I am Iron Man. Dun, 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 dun. No, I'm not actually. I'm, I am Wooly Man. Dun, 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 dun. Guys, well, welcome to Wooly's World, guys. This, you've asked about it. This is the Husqvarna Technical, Technical Helmet, okay? Sorry, Technical Forest Helmet, all right? Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it and let's compare it to the classic Forest Helmet, okay? Which I have just right behind me. Yes, guys, here it is. Here it is. First off, you're thinking to yourself, Wally, why? Why are you doing a review of a helmet? Okay, it's very simple guys, it's very very simple. I would have taught them myself, right? Before, before I got this, this helmet, I would have taught them myself. Sure, a chainsaw helmet is just a chainsaw helmet. No, it is not. <laughs> guys, this is a whole different ball game. This is, right, first of all, let's, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and show you this, okay? Just, I want you to just look at this little, this little area right here. Right, if Tony Stark designed a chainsaw helmet, this would be it, okay? And it would cost a million pounds, right? So, guys, it just, when I got this out of the box and I put this on, I went, Jesus, right? It just feels so much better. It's so much better designed, okay? It, it, it just functions so much better, okay? And then there's a couple of, couple of little features that I really like that really make it a far superior helmet to the classic, okay? And we'll talk about price and stuff like that at the end, okay? So first of all, let's turn around. You wanna tighten this? You wanna tighten this? You just, you just twist, you dial that little knob, okay? The ear muffs, the ear defenders, are just so much better. They're, they just fit so much better. They're, they're so secure. Now, now I, I never noticed anything about the classic helmet. Never, never really bothered me at all until I put this on, okay? And I'll explain the reason why I got this one as well. Now let's look at the visor, okay? The visor is one piece and it's permanently attached Okay, and it's on springs. And you also get this little sun visor that comes with it as well, which is very, very handy. Guys, the plastic is really nice. It's got nice graphics and it has this, this a UV, I'll take it off. So it has a UV indicator at the back and it's got reflective stickers and stuff like that as well. Now the UV sticker guys, what that means is that if you're wearing your helmet out in the sun all the time, the sun will actually make the plastic of your helmet brittle and that means it's not safe anymore. So if they, when this sticker wears down, it means it's time to get a new helmet. If you get a new helmet or not, that's completely up to you, not up to me. <laughs> okay, but guys, it has these, it has reflective stickers all through it. And now I tell you what, Something I came across when I was in the mountain rescue guys was that we had Petzl helmets that we wore when we were on when we were on uh, call outs and stuff like that or in operations or training and a lot of the guys had put fluorescent stickers on them but that actually voids the warranty on a helmet okay unless it comes with stickers well it did back then I'm not sure if it you know if, if before you call me out and it go have a google and, and see if that's still the case okay so this comes with them all right, so it just means it's that extra added level of, of safety, okay? So, the cradle on the inside of it, guys, okay, is super comfortable, okay? So, th these, are, these are straps, material straps, okay? Nice leather headband here. I would have liked a fleece one, I think, uh, but that, we will, we will see how that progresses, okay? So, now let's compare it to classic okay and the classic is a bit disheveled at the minute why is it like this well Bruno edit <laughs> Bruno edit so 
So what was happening, guys? What was happening with my classic was don't you dare. He's, he's coming over now. He's trying to take the other one. Don't you. Good dog. You're a good dog. Guys, was Bruno kept breaking the mesh off the front of it. It just And then it just started falling off all the time, all the time. And so what actually happened, guys, was uh, I had him in the back of the truck one time. And I took him out and I went to go strimming or brush cutting or something. And he actually had chewed the inside. So he had chewed this bit that goes across the back of your head that tightens it. On your head okay so this whole cradle on the inside is plastic okay after sort of extended times of wearing it I did used to notice that there was a little bit of discomfort around here and you would have these little like oval shapes on your head <laughs> so if we just look at the difference look at the difference okay now in the wearing of it guys the difference is night and day. This is just so much more comfortable. So much more comfortable. Everything just feels better, okay? Everything feels better fitted. Everything just seems to work better. And this spring loaded, this, the way this operates here is just, it's just unreal. It's, it's super cool. It is, it is, it, there's a, there's a bit of thought has gone into it. It's, it's well designed, you know, how, how, how long these springs last or, or how long this lasts I don't know but so far so good guys I'm really I, I really like it uh, I just have to make sure that I never let Bruno get a hold of it <laughs> guys thanks for watching stay frosty